What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we are back with another surf fishing video. We are currently fishing the spring, the spring Papano showdown and this and uh, day one was completely epic. It was like the bite was seriously on fire. We uh, caught, I think I caught seven Papano and a big black drum. Biggest was being about 14 and a quarter to the fork, which is a decent Papano, but I don't think it's big enough to win it. And uh, the Saturday, me and Sean ended up going out, going out on a different part of the beach, and it was absolutely dead. We not, did not get one bite. Actually, I take that back. I caught two fish, a hardtail and a puffer fish. Called that a day. And uh, so day two was a bust, complete bust. We didn't we caught two fish. It was being a hardtail and a puffer fish. So day three is going to be a little different. It's going to be a whole totally different conditions. We got storms coming through and southeast winds, which I love fishing the uh, south wind for Pompano around this area. It usually picks up the waves and they usually start chewing pretty good. And we got a storm coming through, which, you know, that pressure is going to be rising and that pressure rises and could or should spark up a bite. So this is day three of the Papano tournament and we got weigh-ins going to afterwards. So I'm gonna go home, get my cameras charged up. Let's get, let's get out there and see if we can catch the Papano. Let's go. for now i'm only bringing one gopro out just because of the chance of raining again and i do not want to get my camera gear wet because i got mic mics on them Fish on, guys. It's a good one. Don't want to play with the drag. Get him in, get him in, get him in. Charge on the beach, charge on the beach, charge on the beach. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is, there he is. Let's go. Is that a good one? All right, guys. Nah, he's not. He's not. He's a. He's a keeper. Keeper. But he's not definitely. A, he's not a tournament winner, but he's definitely a good one. He had the same color uh, rig you used. That green one. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Like I said, I bring all my GoPro out. But this is the first Papano I caught today. He's probably about 11. I mean, 12 inches to the fork, 14 inches to the fork. Go ahead and bleed him and put it on ice. Get my tape, not carry tape of him, because you know hey, he wants to fish. I don't need a tape measure. But I finally got one, man. This is day three of the tournament. And yesterday was really tough for us, but we're coming back with a vengeance. Hey, that right, carry Harry. Yeah. 12 inches to the fork. 12 inches to the fork. All right, grab them yeah. scissors. Grab That's a good fish. That's a big pompano. That's a big pompano. Fish number two just hit. He hit the necker rig. That big wave's coming. Got me nervous. Oh God. Oh God, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on up. Come on up. Is that a better one? Yeah. All right, guys. Popping on number two. Just hit the sand. Uh, 
This is a better one. That's a good one, Kerry. Oh uh, yeah, sure. San Feliz. Huh? We don't have any. What else do you want? I guess shrimp. Popping on the beach. Just hit the rig. Flopping. 360. This guy hit the one of the rigs I made. I kind of made a, a ghetto version of the mortician rig. Light leader. San Feliz. Gotta catch more now. He's a decent one. He might be a pound, I'm a two pound, three pounder. I don't think he's a three pounder, but he's a good one. I'm gonna get him measured real quick. My coat is. Right. Carrie, come here. Never mind, he's 13. He's 13 inches to the fork. Uh, I don't have. Yep. Hold that phone. Two, four, three, two, four, three, one. Measurement. Come down here. Almost 13 to the fork. Not sure this is gonna be a tournament winner or not. No, nah, I don't think so. All right, guys. I got this big old. Sanfly on full of eggs. Cast this bad boy out here. Fix my uh, frisky fins weight. Let's get her on out. Hey, that was my cast too, wasn't it? You want me to cast it out for you again? Okay, daddy. Oh my god! No! Okay! Oh, I think it hit the ground. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish! I got a Sandy Daiwa. Sandfly in my pocket. This thing took off. I think it's a red. Hey, that I'm really with all the sand in there. And I felt like a pompano. Now that's a pompano. I'm gonna freak out. Carrie, I need your help! Come on! I don't know. He's dumping drag though. He's right at the beach. Is that a shark? Don't grab the leader, grab it! <coughs> oh, dang, got a bot ahead. Bring him up, bring him up. Carry, bring him up. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Can you keep it? Yeah, it's great bait. Yep. Um, let's, get the let's get the line away from him. I don't want to let go of one end or the other. Oh my god, he's really wrapped up. I didn't, sorry, I didn't realize you were fighting a fucking giant. I mean, my, my dial is super sandy. Watch all the rods while we're doing this, please. Yeah. 
I'll just, if I see something bite, I'll just let them go and let them bite your hand. <laughs> Almost got it. We'll keep him for shark bait. Dang, my reel is freaked up right now. This is the culprit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Put him upside down and he'll calm down. Watch. He'll calm right down. Now, this is the first spot ahead of the season. I caught him. This he caught the eight dot OP shrimp. First OP shrimp catch shark I ever caught yet. But it's a beautiful bonnet head. They are legal to harvest in Florida and they make ex excellent shark bait. So I'm gonna keep this guy, put him in the freezer. And use it for bait for big sharks. Sharks like to eat other sharks. Now you can tell the difference between these guys. Oh, my hammerheads and keep eye on the rods. Yeah. The hammerheads and bonnet heads is the hammerheads more shape more uh, pronounced. The body has almost like a shovel. So that's the difference. All right, put him on ice. Should I be? Guys, you see we packed everything up. We'll get ready, gonna head onto this way in to see where we place. I don't think we will place top five. We didn't catch a big one like I was hoping. Our biggest one is about 14, maybe 14 and a quarter to the four. But it's probably good enough to get maybe top 20 out of 168 anglers, I hope. We'll see, but I'm excited to go this way in. This is probably the biggest start fishing tournament on the Gulf Coast. Man, I'm super pumped about this way in. So let's get out there. Let's go meet the other creators and other fishermen. Let's get it. Bigger. Another shout out to all our sponsors, they make this possible. 